Yeah. I am transforming so much robots that turn into things make me so happy. And I have 10 favorites that I'm going to share with you in this video. Now, Transformers are my comfort zone. They are the thing that make me happy. They bring me joy in this world of cruel torment and misery. Transformers are a ray of sunshine, and today I am going to show you guys my personal top 10 favorite Transformer figures of all time. Now, I would like to say that this is very, very much just my list. My list is going to be very different from yours. This is my personal favorites. These are not the best Transformers of all time. These are the ones that brought me the most joy, the ones I enjoy the most. Maybe there are characters that I like the most. These are my personal top 10 favorite Transformers of all time. Let's get into this. Coming in at the number 10 spot on this list is going to be Ectotron. Ectotron just captured my heart when I got him. I love everything about this figure. I love how big he is. He's like, he's like actually like a tall figure overall. Like just to show you what I'm talking about. He Check this out. Here he is with Studio Series 86 Grimlock. He's just a little bit shorter than Grimlock. He's almost a leader class figure. In fact, he's probably about the same uh, height as uh, Kingdom Ultra Magnus and stuff like that. And I just, uh, that was one thing about him I absolutely love. But another thing I love about this guy, I'm not a Ghostbusters fan. I want to make that very clear. I am not a Ghostbusters fan whatsoever. But this guy just captured my heart. I love all the designs they did with him. I love his little goggles right here. I love the, I love Oh, everything about him. I think he just looks so fun and he's so fun to mess with. I love the little proton pack and you can give him the Neutrona wand and have a ton of fun with him. I made so many videos of this guy that I had just an absolute blast making. They were so fun. Oh my god. Just such a fun figure. He's just it's it's kind of fun because he's like he's a character that I just feel would be really entertaining to watch and the fact that he's never really been in anything means that I can kind of do my own thing and I can make my own thing for him and that's why I really 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 enjoyed him so yeah number 10 pretty easily for me I absolutely love Ectotron I just think he's so cool also the fact that he is the name tag that is just so awesome. I just think this guy would be so damn entertaining and likable in an actual show or movie. And for that reason, he really captured my heart. I just love this figure. I really cannot recommend Ectotron enough if you do not have him. Such just a wonderful figure, man. Really. Coming in at the number 9 spot in this list is one of my favorite deluxes from the War for Cybertron trilogy, and that is Run Amok. I don't know what it is about this guy that I just absolutely love. Maybe it's the unique color scheme that I've never really seen before, just this completely white figure with these little touches of gold every now and then, and I love his face sculpt, kind of reminds me of like a saw trap or something like that, and as you can see, I'm a pretty big saw fan. Uh, yeah, I just absolutely love the way he looks overall, and his transformation is super fun, super smooth, I love the alt mode. I just remember the, the day I got this guy, I had him order, I came home from work, he was there, the package was there, I opened him up, started messing with him, I remember it was a pretty shitty day at work, and I started messing with him, and I just fell in love with him, I had so much fun with him, I think I was, I was up playing with him all night, posing him around, just having an absolute blast with him, long before I even got Runabout, and I did get Runabout, but honestly, I love Runamuck so much more than Runabout, like, I know most people have preferred the Runabout to him, but personally, I I just think black and red is such an overused color scheme for Decepticon, and I love this unique ass paint scheme for Decepticon. He's just so cool. Transformation so fun. Roll mode's great. I love how, how nice he felt. He was like the first figure in Earthwise in Earthrise that I really feel like upped the quality in terms of the joints and the posability and whatnot. He's got really great posability, including double jointed elbows, his uh, of course the signature WFC trilogy. Um, ankle pivot. I do want to say, although, uh, I did not have barely any Siege figures when I got this guy, so when I when, when I said, like, I feel like he was the first figure in Earthrise that, like, really upped the quality, I meant pretty much just in Earthrise, because most of the Earthrise figures before him that I got didn't really feel like they really had much of that kind of quality that this guy had. Not, I'm not trying to say that they, that they, that they didn't. Most of, most of them did feel very, very good overall. But I don't know. This guy just definitely was a step up from like Trailbreaker and Hoist, which were kind of floppy overall. And, um, and, uh, who else? Who else was kind of floppy? Um, actually, that might have just been it. I don't know. Maybe it was just because I, I think I had gotten Trailbreaker, like, right before this guy, and Trailbreaker was just kind of floppy a little bit. Um, this guy just really, really hit me. I just absolutely love him. I love Running Muck so much. He is my number nine favorite Transformer figure of all time. He is just fantastic. And I've also kind of adopted this guy a little bit as, like, as, like, 
I don't know. I, I don't know. Don't be surprised if one day you find him being like the mascot of my channel. Like, don't be surprised because he's a nobody character that I never even cared about. But man, this figure just really, really got me. I love this thing, man. Coming in at the number eight spot is a bot so near and dear to my heart. When I was a kid, I loved the original Michael Bay Transformer film, and I still love that movie. And one thing I loved about that, of that, about that first Transformer film were the Decepticons. When I was a kid, I was all about the Decepticons, man. I loved Decepticons. I only recently became an Autobot uh, later on in life, like a couple years ago, but I was a Decepticon when I was a kid. I loved the Decepticons, and the Decepticons were one of my favorite things about the first Transformer movie and my absolute favorite Decepticon was Brawl. I loved Brawl. My parents got me the leader class one. I loved him so much and uh, I'm sure you can see it right here. Number eight is Studio Series Brawl. This damn thing is so awesome. This is the definitive brawl figure that I dreamed of when, ever since I was a kid. Literally, he is incredible. And I just remember, I remember when this figure came out, I wasn't fully back into Transformer collecting. And I saw this guy because I thought maybe he'd be the one that would push me over to maybe get me back anyway. And I saw this figure, I saw pictures and reviews of it. And I said to myself, this looks horrible. This doesn't look like brawl at all because my memory was kind of hazy from the way he looked. And I just remembered the leader class figure that I had as a kid. And then I watched the movie a a little bit, a little bit, I rewatched all the Transformer movies, the Michael Bay ones, well, except for the last two, because those can fuck off and die forever. Uh, I rewatched those very, like, soon after getting back into Transformer collecting, and I noticed that the brawl actually looks basically identical to this figure. So I immediately went on Amazon to get the brawl. I got him, and he just blew me away. I adore this figure. He is the definitive brawl, just like I said before. He's got everything. The only thing that this figure does not have, the only reason this figure isn't higher up is his articulation is a little bit lacking. He doesn't have ankle pivot, which is bar none my favorite kind of articulation. Ankle pivot is the most important piece of articulation in my opinion. And he also doesn't have really any articulation in his hands as well. Also the fact that his hands are really just on panels. Yeah, those are the reasons he's not higher up on this list. But this figure is honestly a childhood dream come true of mine. I love Brawl, possibly my favorite Transformer design from the Bayverse. He is just incredible. And this figure knocks it out of the ballpark, man. The robot mode, incredible. Look at that silhouette, man. Just look at it. And the transformation, so effing fun. I love this transformation. The tank mode, brilliant. Love the tank mode. This figure is a smash hit win and one of my absolute favorites and still probably my favorite Studio Series figure of all time. Number eight, Studio Series Brawl. Coming in at the number seven spot is gonna be a familiar face, Studio Series 86 Grimlock, the definitive, the god tier level Grimlock that I wanted ever since I was a kid. I always loved Grimlock, always loved his me Grimlock accent. He talked like this, he king, me Grimlock king. Always loved him as a kid, as I'm sure just about everybody did. And there really was never really a great G1 Grimlock ever, pretty much. And then this fucking figure comes out and really blew me away. I remember actually when I was a kid, the Masterpiece one. It was like one of the first Masterpiece figures and I thought it looked really cool and I honestly kind of wanted it and I never, and I obviously never got it because I was a kid and couldn't afford Masterpieces, obviously. But this figure comes out and is basically better than the Masterpiece in any way. Basically is the Masterpiece but better. Obviously, I don't have the Masterpiece, but that's what I've heard from people. And from what I've seen, like, the Masterpiece one looks way more fiddly. Like, I've seen people, like, pick the Masterpiece one up, and the whole torso just falls apart. This guy, ha <laughs> ha, fall apart? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> this thing could take a fucking bomb, dude. I love this damn thing. He's so sturdy. He feels so good. His joints are so lovely, even having, uh, like, hints of ratchet joints in there. Just adore this guy. Listen to those beautiful clickety-clackety ratchet joints. It's absolutely wonderful. And the, the engineering on this guy is so darn great. I love everything they did with the engineering. His transformation is brilliant and so fun to do. And you get the basically perfect Grimlock Dino Mode. It's so amazing. The only thing about the Dino Mode I don't like is the lack of front teeth in the Dino Mode. That's like the only complaint I have with this figure overall. He is incredible. When I got this figure, he blew me away. I just love him. And honestly, I actually like the gun accessory a lot. I know people wanted the sword, and the sword would have been cool over the wheelie, but I honestly like the gun a lot. I think it's sweet, and I like the way it stores in, in dino mode, too. It just clips onto the back, and it does not look bad at all, in my opinion. So, this figure is nearly perfect, in my opinion. I just absolutely adore Studio Series 86 
Six Grimlock. As soon as I got him, he became one of my favorites of the past couple years. He is just phenomenal. So there you go. Number seven is the Studio Series Grimlock. Coming in at the number six spot is the most recently released figure of my personal favorites, and that is Kingdom Ultra Magnus. I've, I never had an Ultra Magnus as a kid. I never had an Ultra Magnus, and I always really liked Ultra Magnus a lot. And I never had one. I never had an Ultra Magnus. I always thought he looked so cool. And then that Masterpiece one came out, and I thought that figure looked fucking amazing. I love the way that Masterpiece one looked, and I've always wanted it, but never had a chance to get it. It's just too expensive, and I never had a chance to get it. I loved the way it looked, though. It was like a perfect G1 Ultra Magnus. And then, when I got back into Transformer Collecting, there was the Siege one was out, and I was about to buy the Siege one, and then the listings got leaked for Kingdom, and we found out there was going to be an Earth Mode Ultra Magnus, and I decided against my better judgment as much as I wanted to buy an Ultra Magnus so I just wanted to get the Siege one I held out I waited for the uh, for the for the Earth Mode one and for once I actually managed to do it I didn't do what I did with Soundwave and they really and the Earth Mode one got revealed and I still bought the Siege one because I could not stand not having a Soundwave no I actually persevered and I made it I did not buy the Siege one I bought the Earthrise one and I I, not the Earthrise one, the Kingdom one, and I just love this thing. I love this figure. I love this mold. I love the Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime as well. I have him as well. He was close to getting onto this list, but I just love this mold. I've never been a fan of parts forming, yet somehow this figure manages to be one of the single most fun Transformers ever, and it's a total parts former. I love the way it transforms. It's so darn fun to click everything, to, to, uh, to plug everything together, and how satisfying it just looks walks together and then you get that awesome truck mode it's just completely solid from head to toe it's so awesome and i love how fun this guy is to pose he's got really great articulation i love the little the little um white optimus prime that you can just have up you can mess around with him armor him up take him apart the transformation is brilliant even this the the optimus prime on its own i love all the tracks it's on we have to pull the cab out and open up the and the head flips out so cool love that i love all the corners that hasbro did not cut with this figure like the fact they did not make his entire torso out of clear plastic. That was a really wonderful thing to do, and I'm so glad they did not do it. And overall, he's just a spitting image of G1 Ultra Magnus, and he doesn't really have any flaws. This is like my quintessential Ultra Magnus, another ba basically another childhood dream come true, a figure that I just absolutely love. I love this figure to no end. He is incredible and he was absolutely going to make it onto this list. So there you go. Number six is Kingdom Ultra Magnus. I just love this thing. I understand if there, I know that this hasn't been the most popular figure with people, but that's probably because they got the Siege one first. I do not have the Siege one. I held out for this one and I love this figure. So who knows? Maybe if I had gotten the Siege one first, that would have been here and this one wouldn't have, but man, this figure is just to die for. I love Kingdom Ultra Magnus. Coming in at the number five spot is going to be the only figure that I love, that I genuinely love of my favorite Transformers character of all time. This is my favorite Transformers character. Number five is Cyberverse Deluxe Class RC. RC is my favorite Transformers character of all time. It has been ever since I saw Transformers Prime for the first time. RC is such an awesome character. I've always loved RC, but man, Transformers Prime is really the one that made that made RC my favorite character. And she never really and like after I watched Transformers Prime, I realized how great RC was ever from the from, from the very beginning. She was a really really great character. And yes, she is hands down my favorite Transformers character. I just feel like she is the overall best Transformers character. And I just, I love her. I love RC. And she was so great in Cyberverse as well. I loved, I loved her in Cyberverse. And I had gotten that Earthrise one. And everybody said that Earthrise one was terrible. And I was kind of messing with it. I was like, it was, it was, it's not great. I hate the transformation, but it's not terrible. It looks like RC. And that's what I wanted. And then I went to the store very soon after that, looking for Studio Series 86, because it was when Studio Series 86 just came out. I went to the store looking for that. Found absolutely none of that, but I did find Cyberverse Deluxe Class RC, and I had bought in pretty much all the Cyberverse Deluxes before that. Pretty much love every single one of them. I love the Cyberverse Deluxes. They are fantastic figures. So I, so I decided, why not? I'll grab that figure. I'll see if it's good. RC is my favorite Transformers character. I'll see if it's any good. I got this thing open, and it 
blew me away. This figure is goddamn incredible. If you do not have Cyberverse Deluxe Class RC, this figure is so damn good. This is what the Earthrise one should have been. Robot mode is so awesome. I love this robot mode. This is like the perfect RC design for me, man. Prime might be my favorite version of RC, but I'm always going to be a sucker for the original classic G1 designs, and this is such a faithful design while not being, you know, too different. I just absolutely love the way it looks. I love the, like, the pink. I mean, if I reverse my colors, I'd be pink. <laughs> oh man, love Prime RC. She's the best. But yeah, really freaking love the the overall, just the design of Cyberverse RC. All the Cyberverse designs I really love. I like Cyberverse a lot, by the way. I really enjoyed Cyberverse, especially season three. Season three was fucking fantastic. But, uh, and yeah, she does so many awesome things. I like the gun that she includes. She came with some, some blast effects and she is by far the nicest feeling Cyberverse figure ever. Look at this. Look at that. That is phenomenal joint tolerance right there. So poseable too. Absolutely phenomenal. This backpack piece, you would think this would get in the way. This entire piece, you can actually just take it and move it right out of the way if you really want to. If you want to have her sitting down, guess what? You absolutely can. You just have to untransform this piece a little bit, which is giving me a bit of a hard time. But you just untab this piece from the back here. It locks in very securely, which is a good thing. Bring that piece back down and then you can have this piece off just like that and that opens up so much more posability right there. So you can have that all the way up like that and you can totally get her sitting down over the edge. I've, I've done that so many times. I absolutely love the way that looks right there. Absolutely just absolutely freaking love that and the backpack I know it might seem like a huge piece just hanging off the back But it honestly doesn't feel bad at all in hand and the transformation is honestly so Unbelievably fun and I cannot believe I thought that the Earthrise one was acceptable because the transformation on this figure is Incredibly fun you basically just like you basically do you're doing the same thing as the Earthrise one You're just balling her up and sticking her inside the car mode, but with her it's smooth as silk and it feels so good every single time and everything lines up perfectly and it's just wonderful. It's a wonderful toy. I adore this thing. Yes, I know this is a weird pick, but the combination of RC being my favorite Transformers character and me just loving this damn figure so much, I absolutely love this thing. So number five is Cyberverse Deluxe Class RC. Oh, and also, the car mode is freaking awesome as well. Rolls like a dream, really cool. Got great weapon storage in the car mode. Freaking love this figure, man. Number five, Cyberverse RC. Number four is Jetfire is my name. <laughs> I'm sorry. I freaking love Siege Jetfire. God, this figure rules. He's so unbelievably good. God, this thing is just absolutely awesome. I, I can't believe I waited so long in this guy. It took me forever to finally pull the trigger. I put him in my Amazon list like like a year ago when I first start when I like first got back into Transformer collecting, and I finally bought him like two or three months ago. And my goodness, he blew me away. I love this damn thing. Look at the size of this motherfucker. He's so big, and his plastic feels so good. He's such a nice feeling figure, and his and his quality is so there. I love all the articulation they gave him. His transformation is buttery smooth and extremely fun to do. I've done it so many times. I love it so much. That alt mode is so awesome. It's absolutely massive and it's so fun to whoosh around and you get those little handles that you can attach your bots to and just have them like fly in like a phantom from Halo dropping troops off. So fun to play with. I love the little accessory pack he came with with the extra little mask accessory and all the guns he comes with as well. So awesome. Once again, like everything they do in that transformation. I love how this backpack piece just like just perfectly just looks absolutely perfect on his back and that piece just double hinges out for the transformation and it, it locks in place in both methods it's just so beautiful i love the little thruster details underneath there this thing is just so freaking awesome man i love siege jetfire to no end he is incredible and uh yeah this dude just blew me away when i got him i just love this thing i don't really think there's much else to be said about siege jetfire i've already talked to this figure up to death i've talked about him in like four different videos now now, he is amazing. Number four is Siege Jetfire. Jetfire is my name. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> Jetfire is my name. 
Number three is DK's very first third party Transformer, MMC Coulter, aka IDW Tarn, one of my favorite villains from Transformers. I freaking love Tarn, and this figure really blew my mind when I got it, man. He is a very recent addition to my collection, but my god, he is incredible. If you'd like to see my full review of my full review of this figure, it is available on my channel, but my goodness, I love just about everything about this figure. His robot mode is almost a spitting image of Tarn from the comic books. He looks incredible. He has all the details from Tarn that you would need. His fusion cannon, his iconic Decepticon mask, everything is Perfect. The transformation is extremely fun, super smooth overall, really just kind of feel like a chug figure, honestly. And then the alt mode, while not looking like anything really all that cohesive, is still a perfect rendition of Tarn's alt mode. And just the fact that this was my very first third party figure ever is really awesome because I'm definitely intending to buy more third party uh, figures. I definitely am going to get the rest of the DJD uh, because I definitely want to have them to go with Tarn, especially if they are all as good as this figure. But I don't think any of them will be able to top him solely for the fact that he's my very first experience with a third party Transformer. He is just incredible. Um, I don't really feel like I can really say much else about him. I've already talked him up. I'll, I'll, I, I think I've talked about him in three videos now. So yeah. I absolutely love this guy, and his articulation as well, so many, so many great points of articulation, including double jointed elbows, phenomenal head articulation, I love the fact that you can take the mask off and put it in his hand, that's such an awesome feature as well, um, like the angle pivot down here is wonderful as well, his plastic feels incredible, the quality on this guy is immaculate, virtually no floppiness whatsoever, and by virtually I mean just no floppiness whatsoever, just an incredible figure, this guy absolutely blew me away when I got him like a week ago and he immediately became one of my absolute favorites. My As my very first third party Transformer ever, I could not be happier with my purchase and my decision. So, number three is MMC Coulter aka IDW Tarn. Number two is a figure I've talked to about to death and that is Earthrise Optimus Prime. I love everything about Earthrise Optimus Prime. He really, this is by all accounts, in my opinion, the quintessential Transformer toy of our generation. He is God tier. Incredible. I don't even like Optimus Prime as a character all that much. Obviously, you know, he's a very generic, heroic character. Everybody loves him, but I've never been all that big a fan of him. And this figure is just so incredible in that regard. So, like, that should tell you right there how fucking phenomenal this figure is. I'm not an I'm not that big of an Optimus Prime fan, and yet this figure is still my number two favorite Transformer figure of all time. Everything about this guy rules. Everything about him. I love that transformation. Probably my favorite transformation of any figure ever. I love everything they did with this guy. I like the, the ion cannon they gave him. I love that they made it able to flip out like that. Just a really nice touch overall. This figure really does feel like a micro masterpiece Optimus Prime. And that is really why it's so wonderful to me. I think the robot mode is incredible. I honestly love the detail of that little strip that just folds up on the back. I think that looks so cool. And honestly... That, that, they should carry that design over, honestly. That should be a part of Optimus Prime from here on out. I love the way that looks. So, so cool. And it's not rubber butt cheeks. That is his lower spine, not his butt. Stop calling it rubber butt cheeks. Anyway, yes, I just, I, I don't know what else to say about this figure. I've so, I've said so much about this figure, and I just love him. I love Earthrise Optimus Prime. So unbelievably good. This is an absolute must-have figure. And yeah, he is number two and my personal favorite Transformer figures of all time. I found myself constantly taking off the shelf just to transform him, just to relive that experience over and over and over again. That brilliant ass transformation, man. So incredible. So number two is Optimus Prime. There is a great tower alone on the sea You remain the light on the dark side of me Love remains a drug that's the high, not the pill But did you know that when it snows My eyes become large and the light that you shine can be seen Baby, I can pay you to a kiss from a rose on the grave. Ooh, the more I get of you, the stranger it feels, yeah. Now that your rose is in bloom, 
Light is the gloom on the gray. Siege Omega Supreme is my favorite toy of all time. This toy, <laughs> my effing God, dude. If you had shown me this figure when I was a kid, I would have lost it. I would have absolutely lost it. Omega Supreme was my favorite Titan class character in Transformers as a kid. I loved this dude so much, especially because like, I kind of grew up with the Unicron trilogy and he showed up in Energon and I loved him so much and I begged my parents to get me the Energon toy because they actually got me the Unicron, the Armada Unicron. I still have it down there, in fact, if you want to see it. There it is. Yeah. My parents got me the Armada Unicron and I begged them, I begged and pleaded with them day after day but they never got me the Energon um, Omega Supreme. And I'm not like I'm not like bitching him or anything like that. But I really, really, really wanted that toy because I loved him in the show. I thought he looked so cool. I loved everything about that guy in the show, especially the fact that he like connected in the middle there. And yeah, I became obsessed with Omega Supreme because I never had him. He was the he was the Grail that I wanted so badly as a kid, but I never got. And then like I started like I actually watched Transformers G1 long after watching the Unicron trilogy. The Unicron trilogy for all intents purposes what it was what I grew up with but I watched G1 afterwards and I really loved Omega Supreme and G1 as well and I loved his toy and I wanted the G1 toy as well and I had gotten the uh I got the Skylinks I got the G1 Skylinks and I really loved that one but I really wanted that Omega Supreme and Omega Supreme he basically just became like a grail figure and then I got back into Transformers and of course I come in to find that my baby my grail was a made, was made, the perfect Omega Supreme was made, and it was discontinued. This figure was sold out everywhere. He was going for over $400 for people, and I just couldn't do it. I really wanted to, because he is my actual childhood dream come true, and I wanted to for so long. But then, Hasbro, the gods, they blessed us with a re-release, and I immediately bought him. And he lived up to everything because not only, not only is he my childhood dream come true, not only is, the, is he the grail that I've been chasing after for so long, but he is the best version of the grail. This is a perfect toy in every regard. This toy blew me away. I would have loved this even if the toy wasn't incredible, but the toy was incredible. He does everything perfectly. His transformation is incredibly fun. The alt mode is somehow incredibly fun. I don't like base modes at all, but his alt mode is so unbelievably fun to play with. Transforming him is so unbelievably fun. I love connecting everything. The fact that it all just locks together, like the fact that you slot, you uh, freaking, you slot that tank in and then you bring that piece up, you bring those pieces down. I love the way that the uh, that the back connects as well, and he ends up with this awesome jetpack on the back, man. He's just incredible, this figure, man. He's incredible. Everything I ever wanted from my Grail Transformer, and now that I have him, I have my Grail. I guess, I guess if I had to pick another Grail, I guess it'd have to be Hazlab Unicron, but this thing is just incredible, my hands down, my favorite Transformer toy of all time, and the odds of this ever getting dethroned is almost impossible because he just holds way too much, he just holds way too much of a special place in my heart, being the character that I wanted ever since I was a kid, and now I finally have him, and I have the best version of him by far. The third party ones look cool and all, but man, I can, I can almost guarantee you that he is the best Omega Supreme we will ever get. This is my favorite Transformer figure of all time. That is Titan Class Siege Omega Supreme. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like down below. Got my buddy, there you go. Give me a like down below and let me know what are your personal top 10 favorite Transformer figures of all time. Once again, let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a blast recording this one. And with that being said, this is DK Guillotine, assigning out.